There has been a lot of hype about machine learning in the last few decades and people from various fields are converging towards machine learning. It is undeniably one of the hottest topics today and will continue to stand on the top for at least a few decades to come. We will try to understand some concepts of machine learning in this video and by the end you will have an idea of the rudiments of machine learning. What is machine learning? Machine learning as the name suggests is the process by which a machine learns on its own without human intervention. As a machine learns on its own, it is a subset of artificial intelligence. Machine learning algorithms are used to build a mathematical model which is then used by the machine to make predictions or decisions without explicitly programming. As a mathematical model is built, machine learning is closely related to mathematics. The term machine learning was actually coined in 1959 by Arthur Samuel, an American pioneer in the field of computer gaming and artificial intelligence. Now we shall look into the classification of machine learning. Early classifications for machine learning approaches sometimes divided them into three broad categories depending on the nature of the signal or feedback available to the learning system. Supervised learning where both input data and desired output data is fed to the machine to learn the pattern. As the machine learns the pattern, it creates a hypothesis function h of x, which is a function with input to output mapping. The function is given the name hypothesis for historical reasons, but let us concentrate on the type of learning. Once this function is generated, we can use different inputs to predict the respective outputs. Unsupervised learning. This is generally put into application when we don't know the outputs and when we allow the machine to find a structure by feeding just the input. It is used to find the hidden patterns or cluster the data into segments. The last classification reinforcement learning is used in a dynamic environment where a machine does some work and is either rewarded or punished based on its move. Punishment here does not refer to physical penalization it is usually feedback in the form of a score. As the feedback is given, the machine tries to learn from it and maximize the rewards. It is mostly used for playing games, driving a car, etc. As I have already stated that people from different fields are learning machine learning, we can estimate the versatility and the wide range of fields it is being implemented in. For example, virtual personal assistants. Most of us are familiar with Siri, Google, Alexa and have experienced their usage by saying either Hey Siri or OK Google. Nowadays AI chat boxes also have an increasing demand. They are either being used in many business websites to answer general FAQs, welcome and other small tasks. These assistants are used by people to different ages from children asking for homework problems to parents listening to the latest news to grandparents listening to music. You might wonder what the machine is actually learning here. Your speech is converted to text and broken into tokens, the smallest elements, and then it performs the actions based on the tokens. It is a process of continuous learning where the algorithm takes the input data and learns your pronunciation and modifies the tokens for better results. Even predictions while communicating. When we navigate using Google Maps or a suitable GPS app, we get the directions, traffic and also the estimated time. When we book a cab, we get the estimated price according to the demand and also the waiting time. Social media services. We get our personal feed and also recommendations of people and also an option for naming a person in a photo and many more. Machine learning uses the simple concept, understanding with experiences. Facebook continuously notices the friends that you connect with the profiles that you visit very often, your interests, workplace or a group that you share with someone etc. The last implementation that I will be discussing is about video surveillance. A single person monitoring all the surveillance cameras at a time is impossible. This is where machine learning comes into picture. With computer vision and other techniques, the machine can look for malicious activities and warn the authorities beforehand. It can calculate distance between people to ensure social distancing is being followed during even this COVID-19 pandemic. 
It is generally used to detect any kind of suspicious activity. Till now we have learned what machine learning is, its history, its applications, but now let us discuss how it's actually implemented. To implement a machine learning model, we need data. More the data, the more accurate predictions we can make. Once we get the available data, we clean the data to be used for training the model. Then we divide it into the training set on which the algorithm is implemented and the test set on which the predictions are tested. Usually a 0.75 ratio is maintained. That is 3 by 4 parts of training data and 1 by 4 parts for testing the model. This is called data pre-processing. Now the data is trained using a particular algorithm for a particular problem. Once the data is trained, we can now predict new values or test our model's performance on the test set. Now before we conclude, let us see what kind of advancements we can expect in machine learning in the future and let us also see how it would actually help us. We are able to use ML in medicine to find if a tumor is malignant or benign, find any breakages in bones and issues related to the heart, decode the structure of a nucleotide and many more. With the introduction of robotics, many typical and complex surgeries are performed at a 99% success rate with robots. There will be an advancement in the field of ML in medicine where people can now readily find out the disease by themselves, get proper suggestions, get internal changes report, etc. and many more so that patients don't have to visit a hospital every time. Robots. Who doesn't like their work to be done? Robots have evolved over the decades. Now they are capable of replicating human actions like cleaning, cooking, playing games, gaining knowledge, performing surgeries and so on. In the future, robots will even take part in wars, if any, find out the medicine to a disease on independent research, will be sent for space expeditions and many more tasks. There is a hype, however, that artificial intelligence will take over humans. This is not at all close to the truth. We will discuss it in our upcoming videos. Until then, I hope you have got a brief idea of what machine learning is and how it affects us. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel bottom right hand corner and I'll meet you in our next video. Thank you.